Okay, fine. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so I, I like uh, um, to share our experience uh, at the ICTP in the education and in, in the training of uh, medical physicists, young medical physicists, uh, and mainly uh, how we can uh, update uh, our uh, programs, uh, our syllabus, uh, as the, 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 um, the clinical practice and the technology is changing in, uh, in, in, in mainly in uh, low and medium income um, countries. Uh, as many of you know, uh, ICTP was uh, founded by uh, the Nobel Prize uh, Abdus Salam, and ICTP is governed by, by the Italian government, UNESCO, and IA. And uh, uh, at the time of the 50th anniversary of this uh, uh, well recognized institution, by uh, physicists and, and mathematicians uh, around the world. Uh, I like to mention the, 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 the aim, uh, the mandate of this institution. So this institution is run, so these are the words of Abdul Salam, is run by, by scientists, uh, for scientists to support the best science possible, with special attention paid to the needs of scientists from developing countries. So this is the, the aim and the mandate of ICTP, which, which are the activities of uh, ICTP in uh, educational activity of ICTP in medical physics. Uh, I mentioned that the, the well-known and the, the, the most important activities, uh, first of all, the College of Medical Physicists, which uh, um, uh, is run every two years uh, since the 80s. Uh, joint activities with the IA, mainly advanced uh, workshops. A radiotherapy school, a recent radiotherapy school uh, since uh, 2013. And uh, finally, the master after master in medical physics, uh, which has been set up in 2014. <coughs> And I will speak more on this, on the, on this about the experience of, of, of the master. Uh, just a few words regarding the, the other uh, important activities. The college uh, is devoted uh, to imaging, but also to dosimetry and radiation protections. Radiation protection. Uh, you see the number, the, the, the names, the important names of the directors of the college, uh, Mascarenas, Benini, Cameron, Sproles, uh, now uh, Slavic Tabakov, is a biennial event and uh, uh, three weeks duration. And uh, up to now, uh, probably more than 1,000 medical physicists uh, uh, participated to this uh, important educational event and many of these uh, uh, medical physicists are playing an important role around the world in many many countries developing medical physics. Renato your uh, uh, presentation is not on the presentation mode and the first slide only we are able to see the other slides it is not moving. Wow yeah so go to the presentation mode and then only the title only we are able to see yeah now uh, you go to the presentation mode i think uh, i i try to share the screen again uh, yeah go to presentation mode do you see the screen now? Yeah, I can see the screen, but you can go to the presentation mode. Full screen. F5 or... Uh, Full screen. F5 or uh, this, I don't know, you can see it or not. Full screen or slideshow. 
Do you see the, the, the screen now? Screen is visible. Screen we are able to see it. Oh yeah, now it is okay. It's okay now. Till uh, you are putting into the presenter mode. But anyway, uh, it is coming up now. Okay. Um, but I have, I have another <coughs> image on the screen. Okay, okay. Probably I know which is the problem because I'm working with the two screens. So I have to... So the fifth I... slide out of 24. Okay. We are on the fifth slide. Yeah. Okay, now I understand the problem. Yes, now it's fine, sir. Oh, uh, but uh, it is getting cut, I think. Uh, not full screen coming. No full screen. No full screen. Hello. Part <coughs> of the slide is getting cut. Hello, Arun, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good morning. Hello, Renato, good morning. Good morning, Slavic, good morning. So, very early morning, Slavic, yeah. Yes. But again, you can unshare and share because the slide getting cut from the left-hand side, uh, it's not coming properly. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, fantastic. Okay. fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry. yeah. Okay, now we can continue. Okay, uh, another another important activity is the jo uh, are the joint uh, advanced school and workshop organized uh, together with with the IEA has been introduced more than ten years ago, and these are uh, advanced uh, workshop. Uh, I show you some. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, and I should uh, you the, the list of the uh, the last three years of uh, these uh, workshops. Uh, you can see that these workshops are dealing with the hot topics uh, in in the uh, in, med in medical physics and um, and uh, experience medical physicists are participating to this uh, to this uh, advanced. Uh, workshops. Uh, another uh, activity, recent activity, is a school on, uh, on medical physics for radiation therapy. And this is a address, is a two-week uh, course uh, addressed to young medical physicists but uh, with some uh, years of experience in radiotherapy. Uh, and also this is addressed to uh, uh, medical physicists coming from low medium income, income countries. Uh, finally, and this is the, the, the main topic of this, uh, this presentation, uh, I would like, like to introduce uh, the, the last uh, uh, activity introduced in the, the ICTP uh, in medical physics, which is the a master after master program in medical physics. Uh, this is an initiative of ICTP together with the Trieste University and uh, uh, it stays uh, on uh, three important components. The ICTP with, with, the, with the, uh, its mandate, but the, uh, together with the Medical Physics Research Group of Trieste University and uh, as, uh, as a third and important component, uh, the support of the Italian medical physics community, mainly for the clinical training part. Uh, this, this activity has uh, scientific uh, advisors, in, including um, Ahmed Mezifene and Debbie van der Meer from the IEA, Slavik Tabakov. And uh, uh, this program is possible thanks to the uh, financial support of ICTP, but mainly from IEA, but also other national international institutions 
are and or have supported the, this uh, this initiative. This program is a two-year program after a master degree, so the uh, the requirements to enter in this program is to have a master in science. And uh, uh, this program is divided in uh, two year, one academic year and one full time uh, year of supervised clinical training. Uh, this means that uh, the clinical training is only one year. We know that uh, nation, national international um, recommendations are requiring at least two years of full time clinical training. But uh, uh, according to um, uh, AFRA recommendations from African countries, uh, which is also supported by the, by the IEA, um, a shorter uh, clinical training can be, uh, can be acceptable uh, for uh, countries that have uh, li uh, limited uh, health service uh, and limited uh, needs in terms of uh, competencies and skills. So um, this is why we have chosen to, to, to develop a clinical training in uh, only one full-time uh, training. Um, the first year is, uh, is, is, um, is covering, is an academic uh, year covering uh, the most typical, typical um, topics in, in medical physics, uh, giving uh, to, the, to the students an uh, overview of all the fields in medical physics, including diagnostic radiology, nuclear medicine, uh, radiation therapy, uh, radiation protection, and some advanced, uh, advanced uh, topics. Um, this uh, uh, all, all, all the educational material are uploaded in uh, in the learning management system of, y of ICTP based on a Moodle platform, and uh, everybody can have access to the to, to this material. This material probably in the future can be used by ICTP uh, to develop to develop uh, some. Uh, remote uh, training education in the material and this platform use for it is uh, used only for for our present students uh, the second year is uh, as, as i said before is devoted to clinical training uh, and uh, students uh, are uh, distributed in the 25, uh, in one of the 25 um, hospitals uh, that are part of our network of uh, hospitals for clinical training. Uh, all these hospitals have a medical physics department, so that the, 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 the resident are staying in this department and the department uh, uh, and this is a typical organization of medical physics in Italy. The, the department are providing service uh, to all the, the, the hospital in all the fields of medical physics. So the residents are um, exposed to the activity, to all the medical physics activity. Also, if they are trained only in one subfield of medical physics. In practice, 90% of our students are choosing uh, uh, to be trained in um, radiation, radiation therapy. Um, <clears throat> in fact, the students is choosing between, at present, choosing between two tracks, two possible tracks, uh, training in radiation oncology or diagnostic imaging. And here in these tables, uh, uh, we can see the typical, the suggested uh, number of weeks uh, to spend uh, in the different uh, modules that are part uh, or, or of, the, of the training. They are uh, 
follow during the year of clinical therapy. Uh, just to give uh, an overview of the of our students so first of all uh, our students um, the pr priority in selecting students to, uh, to 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 have students from uh, countries that they, that don't have a medical physics program at present uh, we we have um, we had uh, seven uh, groups of students for a total of more than 120 students from 59 countries so distributed in in all the in all the regions almost 50 percent of the students are coming from african countries but the number of applications that we have every year more than 2000 in total now uh, is, is showing us uh, which is uh, the need of education in, uh, in medical physics. And uh, uh, the graduates from our program are, come, are going back to, the, to their country, to the hospital. Uh, and uh, um, graduates can help us uh, to tune our education and training program because they, uh, they, they are asking, uh, we are asking uh, them uh, about uh, their activities. Uh, they are always in contact with uh, their supervisors. So we, we, we are following the, their, uh, they grow, uh, grow in, the, in their countries. And uh, uh, the information we are getting from them is helping us uh, to uh, tune our program, which is not easy because uh, we are dealing with uh, so many countries uh, that have many uh, big differences in terms of uh, clinical practice. So we have to try to balance uh, this these uh, great uh, differences uh, in our in our program. Uh, I'm giving you. I'm giving you some uh, examples now. Uh, recently, uh, so this year, I made a, show, a small survey on radiotherapy practice, and I give you some some uh, some uh, information in this in this uh, in these slides. For example, regarding the clinical practice in radiotherapy. Uh, this this uh, graph is showing the percentage of patients that are, re are receiving a palliative treatment that usually is a simple simple treatment uh, but also is representing the the type of patients that uh, <coughs> uh, are treated in the different regions so i distributed the the, the, the data collected from uh, 44 centers, not so many, but uh, these are representing the, the practice of our graduates. So these data are not representing the practice in the region, so for example in Africa, but is representing only the, the practice in the centers where our graduates are working, so probably in the, are representing the highest level in the, in the, in the region. But in Africa, we can see we can have a large number, last percentage of patients are patients that are requiring just a palliative treatment. So uh, and from this data, we can immediately recognize important differences between, between countries and region. When uh, speaking about Europe, mainly uh, our graduates are coming from East Europe countries. Uh, with, with regards to the to the to the um, uh, type of uh, treatments, uh, I can say there are not so big differences. So, okay, for gyne gynecological tumors, yes, uh, but from other other type of tumors, so there are some differences, the prostate also, but not so big differences. Uh, with regards to the uh, therapy, uh, the, the equipment used for the treatment, you can see that uh, in, in Africa, 
Africa countries, uh, cobalt-60 is still uh, used and represent a large part of, of the practice, much less in Asia, and uh, this practice is almost is disappeared in Europe. Uh, there are some hospitals in Latin America that are still used, but uh, you can see also that uh, the external mega voltage uh, photon beam is the most used techniques. And with regards to brachytherapy, uh, high dose rate brachytherapy is the most used uh, uh, technology. <clears throat> Uh, with regards to the, the imaging used for, for, uh, for radiotherapy, uh, we can recognize that the fluoroscopy si simulators are still present in, in Africa, but they are disappeared in the other, in the other regions, uh, while stim simulator is uh, used everywhere. Uh, what is important is there is an increasing use of MR images or PET images uh, to, um, as, as, um, as images uh, for the simulation of uh, radiotherapy patients. Um, regarding the technology they are using, uh, we can see that uh, Cobalt 60 is almost disappearing apart, apart uh, Africa. Uh, LINAC is the most important, and, but also with the LINAC we have, uh, in, in, in many uh, machines, uh, we have uh, portal imaging, so we have combined CT. In uh, some countries, mainly uh, Europe, Asia and Latin America, uh, advanced uh, uh, therapy machines uh, are entering in the, in the practice, like tomotherapy, um, gamma knife, or cyber knife. So this means there are a wide range of, from simple machine to very complex machines. Um, <clears throat> regarding the treatment, the technique used, used here we we can recognize uh, in very important differences. In the African countries, we can see uh, the large majority of patients are treated uh, with the simple techniques, so open fields or blocks, uh, but also uh, uh, MLC, uh, multi-leaf collimators. While in other regions, it's more, it's more common to have uh, uh, um, conformal radiotherapy, but uh, also a large, uh, a good percentage of patients are treated with advanced technique. Uh, again, a large uh, spectrum of uh, type of, of techniques. With regards of the staff, medical physics staff per center, um, working in, uh, in radiotherapy, so full-time in radiotherapy, we can, we can see that, uh, uh, okay, in our centers we have medical physicists with the clinical training, probably the clinical training of uh, the head in the ICDP, in our master, but you see that there is a large number of medical physicists with a master degree without clinical training, so the on-the-job training, but also um, some, uh, some regions, uh, medical physicists with the BSc only and without. Uh, what is interesting is that uh, in, uh, in centers, mainly, mainly in uh, Asian countries, uh, we have many uh, medical physicists in training. And this is, uh, is interesting because we know that uh, uh, many of our graduates uh, are supporting the training of medical physicists in their countries. Uh, so we, which are the, 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 the future developments uh, that uh, um, in the coming two, three weeks that uh, are seen? So in, in some center, they are still thinking to, 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 to move from 2D to 3D treatment and it's to introduce MRT and VUBA treatment. So these are the centers with the simplest, 
the best activity, but in many centers, uh, in many centers, they are they are seeing more um, advanced treatments, stereotactic treatments for the simulation for treatments. So uh, also in this case, uh, a wide spectrum of uh, future developments. Uh, in many many centers, new machines are uh, are coming in the coming two three years. Uh, we know that uh, in many centers, our graduates, uh, because usually there are very few medical physicists in these hospitals, uh, so that the, 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 the medical physicist is involved also to activities that uh, are outside the radiotherapy department. So I know we know that many, many, uh, or some of our graduates are involved in developing nuclear medicine. In some hospitals, they are projects to, to introduce PET machines, cyclotrons, MRI machines. And what is important that many of, of our uh, graduates are involved in teaching. So uh, <coughs> the, this uh, uh, large variability of uh, uh, radiotherapy practice among regions and countries required to develop a wide spectrum of medical physics topics, including, so our uh, syllabus is including basic topics but also uh, is adapting to the new to the new needs as an example of the changes that we we made in the recent uh, years for the first year of program but this is reflected also on the clinical training so we are we are uh, uh, expanding radiobiology applied to radiotherapy because this is important for advanced technique for hyperfractionation. We are including uh, 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 topics uh, supporting advanced technique like the dosimetry of small photon beams, stereotactic uh, radiosurgery, uh, advanced QA for, for uh, QC of uh, advanced techniques. But also Monte Carlo simulation is becoming important. Information technology applied to radiotherapy, uh, so DICOM, networking, etc. Advanced Im image analysis because it's becoming uh, common to, to register CT image with MR or PET uh, with the rigid or the formable uh, registration. And also uh, from the next year, we are also adding some elements of uh, artificial intelligence because also this is becoming common in the future in, uh, in the commercial products. Uh, again, for the students in the second year, uh, <clears throat> many of our residents are practicing on the advanced topics uh, because the, wh when there is this need in, 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 the, in their uh, hospitals. And uh, um, as I said before, um, they, um, they are exposed to the medical physics activity of the, of the medical physics department in the Austin uh, hospital. And this uh, uh, can help uh, uh, them to uh, promote, uh, for example, this type of organization in their country. So they, we know that in some countries they are working to uh, develop a medical physics department that are taking care of the whole medical physics activity in, in the hospital. And this is, uh, in some countries, they are trying to, uh, to develop this type of organization at the, at the country level. Okay, with this, I, I, I try to, to summarize our experience in tuning uh, uh, our program to, to our, our medical physics students. And I thank you for... Um, thank you, sir. The talk. Thank, you very, thank you very much for detailing the educational programs led by ICTP in the LMI countries and their specifics. We have a question from the audience. So how these international organizations paving the way forward for uh, development of medical physics in LMI countries and how the 
uh, young medical physicists who are practicing in these countries can utilize the uh, opportunities made by the ICTP and other international organizations? Uh, yeah, so the, the, uh, they, they are uh, quite fortunate to participate in this international action. And uh, because of this, uh, they will become part of uh, international network. So with many, many opportunities uh, uh, for networking uh, and also to have uh, um, uh, other opportunities with uh, IEA for um, other types of, uh, of uh, training uh, in, in their career. We know that some of them are very active in the country, 